Mind Genius has always been an invaluable tool for recording, sorting and analysing ideas and information. In this course, we will show you how to present information from your maps using Mind Genius version 4's new presentation mode. During this session, we will cover how to convert branches into slides, add images and text to our slides, reposition and resize items in the slides, add backgrounds and transitions, and how you can present and edit your slideshow at the same time. We'll start by opening a typical Mind Genius map. We want to make the primary branch of the map the first slide of our new presentation. To do this, we must first select our chosen branch. Then, from the Home ribbon, we'll select Add Slide, then Based on Selection. We can see the branches have appeared in the centre of the slide. However, at the moment it's very small, so we'll use the Zoom slider to enlarge it. We would also like to reposition the branch. To do this, we need to enter Pan Mode. If we use the Pan option in the ribbon, we'll need to revert back to Pick Mode once we've moved the branch. Alternatively, we can simply hold down the mouse on any blank part of the slide until a hand icon appears, then drag and drop the branch into position. As this is the opening slide, we will also add a title to it. To do this, we will click the text icon, set the size of the text box, and then enter our title. We can also change the colour, size or style of any text we add to our map. When we've finished editing the text, we must click outside the box to save it. We will now add another slide to our presentation. To return to the map view, simply click Return to Map. We'll select the next branch we wish to convert and again click Add Slide then based on selection. This time we'd like to add an image. To do this we'll click Picture and set the area which we'd like the image to cover. We must select the image we'd like to add from our computer. Then click Open. Once the image is added we can resize it to the correct size by dragging its borders or we can move it to a new position by dragging and dropping it. Returning to our map view, we will now quickly convert the rest of the branches shown into slides. To do this, click on each branch in turn while holding down the control key. Then select Add Slide, then Based on selection, don't switch. The don't switch option simply means that you won't jump to the presentation mode after you've created a slide. However, we can jump to the presentation mode at any time by clicking Switch View. Back in the presentation mode, we will enlarge and expand our new branches. We can reorder the slides by right-clicking and selecting Move Up or Move Down. We can also remove any unwanted slides by right-clicking them and selecting Delete Slide. Before we present our slideshow, we'd like to give it a professional touch. We can choose a new background for our slide by clicking the background icon and then clicking Select. Mind Genius has lots of different backgrounds to choose from. 
Alternatively, you can use any of your own image files as a background. If you want to only change the background of the selected slide, click Apply. However, we want to apply this new background to all the slides, so we'll click Apply to All. Then OK to confirm. We can also set how Mind Genius will move from one slide to the next by clicking Transition. Once we've chosen our transition, we can click Apply to All to apply the transition between every slide. Now we're ready to show off our presentation. To do this, click Start Presentation, then From Beginning. We can move between the slides using the spacebar or arrow keys. One of the most powerful features of the presentation mode is the ability to update the map slides while you're presenting. For example, our final slide is currently a single branch called Feedback. As people give us feedback, we can add their comments directly into the presentation. When we've finished our presentation, we can press the Escape key to return to the presentation view. From here, you can export your slideshow into PDF or PowerPoint format. If we return to the map view, we can see all the comments we added while presenting have been added to our map. We will save our map. The next time we open it, our presentation will be ready to run as before. In this course, we have seen the following. Converting branches into slides. Adding images and text to our slides. Repositioning and resizing items in the slides. Adding backgrounds and transitions. And presenting and editing your slideshow at the same time.